Can I have some more of your stew? These militia bastards threw Bennett in the hole. Do me a favor and get him out of there, will you? In the meantime, I'll cook you some yummy stew. That was quite obvious. Hey, you! The black hooded men in the mountains are no longer with us. You were able to deal with them? Good man. I didn't trust those guys one bit. They were bound to cause a lot of trouble. That's all just gossip. That's really not my problem. Same old thing all over again. I'm not telling you anything new. No one really you know who to believe these days. Just like you said. Why aren't you working? Haven't you heard yet? The paladins have arrested Bennett. Nothing amazes me anymore. Nobody ever asked for my What happened? Well, we were in the city to shop when all of a sudden we heard a scream. Someone yelled, There they are. Get them. Boy, was I scared. I took to my heels and ran like the demons were after me. Bennett was right behind me. I don't know what happened, but when I got outside the city, he had disappeared. I must have lost him in the city. So why was Bennett arrested? Murder. Bennett is supposed to have murdered a paladin. What nonsense. I was with them the whole time. So why don't you go to town and explain the whole thing? They'd stick me in the slammer as his accomplice. Nah, certainly not in the current situation. Situation? You know, Onar in the city. That's bound to come to a bad end. How did the mercenaries here on the farm react? Well, I don't know exactly what they're planning, but some of them are really pissed off. I can understand that. If it were up to them, they'd rather attack the city today than tomorrow to get Bennett out. Talk to Lee. Maybe there's something you can do. This is the first I've heard of it. That's not what I hear, really, but I agree with you completely. I don't know what I've gone about it differently. I couldn't care less. You shouldn't be so sure. Will it ever change? That was obvious all along. Nothing amazing. You think so? 
I don't believe this is going to change. That's all just I've come from the Valley of Mines. The castle there was attacked by dragons. So it's true. Lars said that rumors about dragons are circulating through the city. I didn't believe it. What about the paladins? They've been thoroughly decimated. Good. Maybe now Lord Hagen will think again about my offer. And if not, then we'll find another way to get out of here. Better off myself. What about Beth? So you heard about that. The bastards have locked him up. Just like that. As if I didn't have enough That's problems really with my own my people. Problem. Now I have to take care of the paladins, too. I hardly know what to believe anymore. What will you do about Bennett? I don't know yet. A few of the boys would like to run to the city and knock Lord Hagen's teeth down his throat. Luckily, we don't have enough people for an operation like that. And besides, it's not my style. Are you going to stay here and see what happens then? Certainly not. Lairs is still in the city and trying to find out how we can get Bennett out of there. Until that happens, I'm trying to calm my people. I only hope that Lairs doesn't take too long. Oh yes, before I forget, Buster wants to talk to you. He wouldn't tell me what it was about. Maybe you should go see him. Nobody will learn anything from me. Can I help you in this matter with Bennett? Sure. A bit of intelligence and sanity certainly wouldn't hurt in this matter. Enos knows there are enough idiots running around here. Go to the city and see if you can find a way to get Bennett out of there. But don't be too long about it. I don't know how much longer I can keep the men under control. You hardly know who to believe these days. Any news about Bennett? No, we still don't know enough. Hey! How's it going? Have I given you per- That's really not my problem. It's been going on like this forever. It's been going on a long time. I don't want to touch on that. Of course we got him in the end. You really can't. That's the first time. He thinks it's as easy as that. Hey, you! Buddy! What do you want? These last few days, I've been thinking about how we could make some quick money in this dump. And? I think I've stumbled across a possibility of making money fast. A merchant from town would shell out a lot of dough for a certain thing. What's this about? The merchant claims that he could market shadow beast horns very profitably. Someone would have to go to the woods and harvest those beasts. And that's where you come in. How much is to be gained there? A bunch of money, I tell you. There will be enough for the two of us. And since you gave me that gold back then, I'll make you a special price. Sounds good. I'll let you know when I manage to get some horns. I've got a Shadow Beast horn for you. Great. Give him here. And get me more. Who knows for how long that merchant will still want these things. Here's your share.
is. Hey, you! Will you stay on Bengar's farm now? Sure. I'll have to see this through now. We'll manage somehow. Malik is back. It's about time. I thought I'd never see him again. I found you the mercenary you wanted. I've never seen anyone like that on my farm. I can only hope it'll work out. Here, take this. I think you'll find it useful. It'll be all right. Malik is here again, but the situation has hardly changed. Unless a miracle happens, all of us here are gonna get wiped out. Who said that? Hey, you! Is it really true? Everything going well? Sure. Everything's quiet. Hey, you! Can you teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. That's really not my problem. Where did you pick that up? Nobody ever asks me. Nothing amazes me anymore. I'm not touching that. Totally obvious. I hardly know what to believe anymore. I don't believe this is going to change. Oh, 
Nothing to plunder.
Hey, you! It's a bad business. Here's your aquamarine ring. Good for you. I thought you'd lost it. Any news? You could say so. The paladins have arrested Bennett, our smith. So I've heard. That's a bad business. You can say that again. Any news of Bennett? They seem to have taken him to the barracks and tossed him into the dungeon. How can we get him out of there? I don't have any ideas so far. I can't get to his cell to talk to him. All I can do is keep my ears open, but there isn't much to learn around here. Tell me if I have any left. get this open without the right key. Yeah, get out! I know better off myself. It can't go on like this forever. Is it really true? I found your gold. Great. Show me. Very good. Gerbrandt had better watch out now. Listen, I still need to take care of the guards. I want you to take this letter to Gerbrandt. He is one of the fat merchants in the upper quarter. Give him my regards. I'll meet you in front of Gerbrandt's house then. That's the first I've heard of it. I never knew that. that up then. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, I'm not touching that. There you are again. I agree with you completely. How are things? There's nothing new so far. You mustn't believe everything. I've got a few skins for you. Wolf skin. That's good. A warg skin? Those beasts are tough. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. It's a bad business. thought of that himself. Halt! As long as you are accused of theft, you can't enter the upper end of the town. Go to Lord Andre and settle the matter. I never thought as much. I never knew that. It is good that you have come. You are accused of theft. There are witnesses. I will not tolerate such conduct in the city. You must pay a penalty to atone for your crime. How much? 50 gold pieces. I want to pay the penalty. Good. I shall see to it that everyone in the city learns of it. That will restore your reputation to some degree. What about Bennett, the blacksmith? You mean the mercenary? He is sitting in jail where he belongs. Can I talk to him? Certainly. Just go in. But if you try to help him escape, you will be in for it.
What do you want here? I want to see the prisoners. Yeah, go ahead. And say goodbye to your pal. You haven't come to get your buddy yet. Forget it. As soon as I raise the alarm, the boys will be here in an instant. And then, we'll have us some minced mercenary. <laughs> treacherously murdered the paladin Lothar has been condemned in the name of Innis. The sentence is death by hanging. The execution will take place in a few hours. How come you're in the slammer? Those swine have thrown me in the hole. I'm supposed to have murdered a paladin. But I didn't do it. They're only trying to frame me. Why would they do that? How would I know? You've got to get me out of here. Talk to Lord Hagen. Tear down the wall. Who cares? Just do something. What happened? I went downtown with Hodges to buy some supplies for our boys. Suddenly, we heard a loud scream and the sound of running feet. Get to the point. We knew at once that something had happened and that they would grab us at once if they saw us there. We ran like hell. Then, just before we got to the city gate, I tripped and sprained my ankle. The rest is soon told. The militia was on me at once, and they threw me straight into this hole. Who was murdered? I have no idea. One of the paladins. I don't know them. Have you got a name? Some Lothar, I think. Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure. You had better ask Lord Hagen. He knows all the details. Do they have any evidence against you? They say they have a witness who recognized me. Well, do you know who the witness is? No, all I know is that he's lying. Who's leading the investigation? Lord Hagen himself. Since the victim was one of the paladins, this falls under martial law. What does that mean? That's easy to guess. If I don't get out of here, they're going to let me swing without further ado. You've got to help me or there'll be a war. Lee's not going to take this lying down. You can figure out for yourself what that means. Here you are. Show me. Really? Knock me down with a feather. You can keep two of these things. You'll need them in order to forge your own weapon. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen... The sentence is death by hanging. The execution will take place in a few days. Can you make me a prophecy? Yes. Time has progressed. And I shall give you a prophecy in return for a few coins. How much? For a paltry 250 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. Tell me about the future. All right, son of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? You shall force... what is nobody's destiny but yours. Through fire and snow. Through ice and flames. Men in foreign armor. A swamp. Lizards. They await you. That's all. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby. But Adonis feared for the day in which the beast would return to the land. Are you still working for the Paladins? I finished the commission from Lord Hagen. Now I'm making magic ore blades for him. But for pay this time. But I also have the time again to make a few weapons on the side for the merchants in the marketplace. So, if you're looking for a good blade, you should try them. Tell me more about magic ore blades. Creating a magic blade is a very complicated and expensive process. 
but the result is a blade that's easy to handle and practically indestructible. The blade is certainly of good quality, but it will only show its true power in the hands of a paladin. A paladin sword is consecrated by Inos. As a result, the magic blade becomes an enchanted weapon that does incomparable damage. I want to buy a magic ore blade. I can only sell magic blades to the paladins. And even then, only one each. Hey, you! What? I can sell you. Diego says hello. What? Who? What Diego? And he wants me to give you this letter. That can't be. No. I'm a goner. Is he in town then? Who? Diego, of course. Yes. I'm gonna meet him here shortly. Oh, this is the end then. All is lost. I've got no time. I need to get out of here. Quick. If he finds me here, I'm done for. Anything new? What is that about? Are you trying to mock me? You and your buddy Diego have wreaked enough havoc already. Leave me alone! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I delivered the letter. Very good. How did Gerbrandt take it? He was rather shocked and made himself scarce right away. I should think so. I'm afraid that, first of all, I need to attend to furnishing my new house. If I remember correctly, Gerbrandt's taste is horrible. I'm not telling you anything new. The house is yours then? Yes, from cellar to attic with all the furnishings. Having spent several years in less than befitting quarters, I'm looking forward to sleeping in a soft four-poster bed. And then, for breakfast, I'll have a fine wine and some excellent ham. You don't miss any chances, do you? You betcha. So how did you pull this off? Did you think that Gerbrandt came by his fortune through honest business? Of course, he never got his fingers dirty when it came to really shady deals. He had a helper for that. Of course, I caught on to a lot back then. Gerbrandt finally got rid of me. He was probably afraid that I knew too much. You never told me about that. You never asked me. What about Gerbrandt? He has enjoyed the good life for far too long. He was living here in the lap of luxury while I was forcing down meat bug stew. I have no idea where he went from here, but he'll never get a foothold in Corinnus again. I'll see to that. If you're looking for him, you should try the Harbor District. I can't help it. What about my share? Looks like you haven't forgotten everything I've taught you after all. But you're right. I couldn't have done it without you. Here's your share. I need to talk to you about Bennett. But that's the mercenary who murdered one of my men. How come you're so sure that Bennett is the killer? We have a witness. As you can see, there is no doubt about the mercenary's guilt. Who is that witness? Cornelius, the governor's secretary, saw the murder. 
His description fits Bennett, no doubt about that. As far as I am concerned, that settles the matter. The mercenary will hang for treason. I believe that Bennett is innocent. The evidence is clear. He is guilty. So what if the proof is wrong? Be careful what you say. You raise some serious accusations. If you cannot present me with evidence that the witness lied, then you had best hold your tongue. You saw the murder of Lothar, didn't you? I need not answer any questions about a current investigation. Lord Hagen already has everything I know on record. What was it you saw? Really, I haven't got any time now. You need to go now. The office is closing. Enough of that. What did you see? I... I saw how the mercenary struck down the paladin from behind. And then he took his sword and rammed it through his chest. Are you completely sure? Yes, of course. I saw it with my own eyes, but I really haven't got any time now. There's a huge pile of paperwork I need to do. I don't believe you. So what? What are you going to do about it? You hold your life dear, don't you? If you attack me, they'll hang you. I have powerful friends. So don't you dare lay a finger on me. Now get out of here, or I'll call the guards. I don't but So what? I could tell the mercenaries where you live. What is that supposed to mean? I bet they're dying to make your acquaintance. They're not very happy at all. You can't do that. They would kill me. That is very possible. I'll say whatever you want. But you mustn't do that. So what really happened? I didn't see what happened. I received some gold for blaming that mercenary. In times like these, it's everyone for himself. I needed that money. Who paid you? That's enough. He'll kill me if I rat him out. Are you going to tell that to Lord Hagen too? I'm not a lunatic. I can't stay in town now. I'll give you my diary. That should be proof enough. Cornelius lied. How did you know that? Here, I've got his diary. Everything's in there. That slimy little criminal! In view of the new evidence, there is nothing else I can do. By virtue of the office granted me by king and church, I declare that the prisoner Bennett is exonerated of all charges and is thereby a free man. Cornelius is to be taken into immediate custody for perjury. He's made himself scarce. Sooner or later he will turn up, then we shall arrest him.
And so he set himself between his brothers in order to reconcile their dispute. Show me a word. was pleased with what had arisen. He delighted in all the beings equal. But so great was the wrath of Beliar when he came across the land. Show me a Show me your wares. That's not what I heard. That's not what my husband thinks. That's what I've always said. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Honestly, it wouldn't stand outside. Really, how interesting. Who says things like that? Show me your wares. What do you think? Do you want to go up against me again? I think I've gotten better in the meantime. You have to feel sorry. I'm not telling you anything. 
I want to fight against you. I only fight from noon until evening. The fighting is only worth it if there are enough spectators who place bets. It's much too late now. Come back. Some problems solve themselves. It's better to watch out who you tell one. We can only wait and see. Don't say you didn't know that. Been there, done that. You should really have known better. For all your 500 gold. Same old thing. See that over again. For 500. All right, sold. We've made some good deals today. Show me. I haven't seen it with my own eyes. I'm as a water rock myself. Hey! Anything? What is that about? You and your butt. Look! Someone's gonna do the world. That's not what I heard. Really? How interesting. He better shut up. I can't help it. That will only cause more trouble. I agree with you completely. Hey, you're the guy who filed a complaint against Canthar, the merchant. Lots of people came here to vouch for him. Well-respected people. The matter must have been a misunderstanding. Yeah, these things happen. In future, you should be more careful about who you send to jail. 